Alrighty guys, another tutorial, the last one for today. This one is a little more specific. It's the lineup you do in any percent to go for the Hydra skip. The easiest way I've been able to do it at least. Um, for all the specifics about the Hydra skip itself, you can watch Hydra's the Hydra's tutorial of church. It's a bit of an older one, but many of the specifics still apply. Obviously, Plush's tutorial. That one always works, and I think it's actually pretty up to date. Like in Plush's NT Bossers tutorial. This one is only for the lineup you do to get the same result as in Boss Rush or the IELs. Here we go. So, first of all, you go up to Hydra's Arena. With aggro, the cutscene plays, you, you continue going. You can just spam the button or do a fast start here. First important thing is, um, you wanna jump without the horse because that makes the lineup easier. You go to the edge and do a long jump in this direction. I'll show you where you wanna land in a bit. Long jump on the edge and as you see this thing, here this half circle thing, you want to land kind of next to it here or here, somewhere here. That's about the lineup you also have in the IL. You don't want to land here, that's the problem. If you land here, the camera is all messed up. So here is probably perfect. Let's see where I land. Oh well, behind it, I also swim a little forward so it works out. Now, the next thing is, I always do it like that. I look directly at the pillar like that. Some people do it differently and honestly speaking, I'm still not the most consistent with that lineup in any percent, but it has been working for me in the past. Maybe just try experimenting with it a bit, but the main gist is, you want to look at the pillar and wait until Hydrus's horn passes this one, the pillar in the background. And then you start swimming. And how much you want to swim is 10 swim animations, without counting the first one because it's not a full one. So let me just pull it away. And obviously you swim towards the pillar like you would in the IL. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, without counting the first one. Now here, multiple things can happen. I don't know how it works with a PS Pro, but if Hydrus is very far behind the thing and then goes up here, it works. Sometimes he's a bit more like that, it also works. If he get, goes like that, it might still work on PS Pro, I'm not sure. In the IL it usually works for PS Pro, but it doesn't work on standard. So if you see Hydra's coming this way early on 30 FPS, you probably shouldn't go for the skip because then it's wrong. But any of the other two work. So to just to make it clear with the uh, count as well, let me see. I don't count the first one. So we wait, don't count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I messed up the... <laughs> I messed up the count myself, let's do it again. God, I'm an idiot. This one doesn't count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here we go. You can also just count the first one and go for 11. I think it's not as specific. Aiden might do 9 or 11, I'm not sure. But yeah, you want to count with some animations and that way you get the lineup. And from here on out, it's just the same thing like you would do in the IL. You wait for, uh, for Hydras to come up. Jump step just before the horn hits you. 
jump again to not get hit. Go up and you got it. Yeah, don't have to explain that one if you want more details, obviously look at Kasha's tutorial. Yeah, as you see I'm not that good at it either, but it saves like over a minute for sure on any percent, which is quite amazing. Yeah, I guess I'll leave it at that. I always want to keep it short and always go for longer than I wanted to. But hope that's helpful. Good luck with your run, guys. Let's leave it at that.